Hey guys! So today I have a Birchbox vs. Ipsy video. I got my Birchbox yesterday and I have already opened that and then I just got my Ipsy in the mail today. I have not opened it yet but I do know what's inside so I just want to show you guys. Um, Birchbox and Ipsy are both $10 a month. I'll post the links below if you guys want to sign up. Um, and yeah, I'll start with my birch box. And the box is pretty cute this month. Not as cute as last month's, but it says let's do this and then it's got like confetti on the back. It's pretty cute. So inside it comes with the card. It says let's do this. And then the products on the back. And the first thing that I got is this Marinesse Matfinity Lip Rouge. And it just comes in this little thing here, like that. And I haven't tried this yet, but I'm pretty excited. It's like a bright red color, and matte lips are really in right now, so I was pretty excited that they included that. I haven't tried this Marinesse brand before, but I have heard of it. Um, it says that it has tattoo-like staying power. Um, you don't need a lip liner, and it has a plush velvet finish. So let me do a swatch of this. Smells all right. It's a really pretty color. You can see right there. It's like an orangey red. And doesn't look like it's completely matte. It says that it only takes 15 seconds to dry, but it looks like it would take a little bit longer than that. But, um, yeah, I'll see how that is. I'm excited to try it. This is a pretty good size. This is the packaging here. It's pretty cute. Right, and the next thing is the Essential Elements Body Lotion. And I have gotten a body wash by them, and I've already used it up. And it was just alright. I wasn't too, like, thrilled with it, but it just smells like an aromatherapy type smell. It smells pretty good, but I always get these tiny little lotions in birch boxes and I'm just, I don't really ever use them, so, well, that's all right. And then the next thing is the number four hair care non-aerosol hairspray. And there's the packaging there. And this is one ounce, so not a bad size for a travel size hairspray. And I do like getting these because um, some hairsprays are just super bulky. Like I have the Big Sexy Hair hairspray, and I'll show you the comparison to this and the other one. Like, look at how big this is. This is humongous. I don't want to carry this around, so these are really nice to have because this is just humongous. <laughs> This is a really good hairspray, though. And then the next thing is the Harvey Prince Sincerely Perfume. And then it's just a vial here. And they have added um, the cap on the spray bottle now, which I do like because when you put it in your purse, it doesn't spill or anything. But this is the packaging for that. And Harvey Prince usually has pretty good sample sizes of their perfumes. Uh, this one, it smells alright, but it smells kind of like a older person type perfume. So, I don't know if I'll really use this. I did like the last one that I got, though, called Petaly Noir, but it seems like all of the perfume samples that they send me are Harvey Prince, and it would be nice to see some other perfume brands, because I think I've gotten three or four Harvey Prince perfumes, and yeah, it does have good lasting power, all of their perfumes do, but I mean, it would just be nice to see some other brands. And then the last thing that I got in Birchbox is this um, Wee or W-E-I Manuka B Venom Anti-Wrinkle Mask, which I actually am excited to try this because I have tried a mask by this brand before and I absolutely loved it. It was a really nice mask. And this has the Manuka B Venom and I've heard really good things about Manuka Honey so this will be really cool to try and I did get two uses out of the last mask that I got by them in this same little packaging container so 
that's really cool. I usually just apply this with a foundation brush to get an evasion and so that I don't get it all over my fingers. But yeah, that was all the stuff in my birch box this month. I wasn't too overly impressed with birch box this month. Usually I do really like my birch boxes, but it was kind of just like meh for me. Um, I feel like usually January for boxes aren't that great because they try to do like really good boxes in December for Christmas, but it was just all right. But I do get the points, which is why I love birch box. Right now I have 300 points saved up, which is $30 to use in the shop. And they also send you coupons, like they just sent me a 25% off coupon. And you get points by reviewing each product in your box. And for each product, you get 10 points. And then for every 100 points that you rack up, you get $10 to spend. So it is a really good program. It's like you're getting your money back. And they have really good brands on the Birchbox website to purchase from. I usually buy my Anastasia products on there and they also have Smashbox and Benefit and Jouier and a lot of good brands so it is a really nice program and Ipsy doesn't always have that. Their, their program takes a little bit longer to save up points in their prizes they don't really have a good selection and on Birchbox they have like a ton like thousands and thousands of products to buy so that's really nice about Birchbox and I also wanted to show you guys this cute little keychain that Birchbox just sent me for my box anniversary with them and they just sent it to me for free it says that it's a $15 value and I'm pretty sure this is leather but it's super super cute it's just this pink little tassel with gold writing that says Birchbox and some lips and then there's like a Birchbox charm right there and I thought that was really cute and I didn't even have to pay shipping or anything for this so that was a really nice thing that they did alright and now on to Ipsy comes in the pink bubble mailer every month and let's see what's inside like I said I haven't opened this yet but I do pretty much know what's inside already so and they have the card it says fresh start by Ipsy and it has all the Ipsy girls on it right there and then on the back it says fresh start and that has like a definition for fresh start it says a kickoff so clean the possibilities are endless get ready for a fantastic and flawless 2015 and then it has like the thing to share on your Instagram and Facebook and stuff and then the bag this month is white on one side and then blue on the other. It's like this vinyl and then it has a coral zipper. And it does feel like it's pretty good quality. And then I really like the zipper pull tags that they have now. They're really cute. So it's an alright bag. And let's see what's in here. The first thing is a Pacifica Natural Mineral Coconut Eyeshadow. And this is in the color Treasure. And we did get um, a Pacifica eyeshadow before, and I wasn't really too impressed with it. Um, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, this is the one that they sent us before, and it's like a duo, but it's really not very pigmented. And I'm pretty sure this is the same formula, the um, coconut eyeshadow. So I don't even know if I'm going to try this. I might give it to someone else who could use it more. And plus, I really don't like single eyeshadows. I would rather just have a palette of things to choose from. I feel like I just never reach for um, single eyeshadows. And this won't even like come out of the package. So I don't want to break that. But this is like a, a gold bronzy color. There it is. So there's that. And then the next thing I actually am pretty excited about, it's the Nourish Organic Renewing Eye Cream. And this is like a really good size for an eye cream. It's 0.5 ounces. It says that it has um, avocado oil, Moroccan argan oil, and shea butter. So it has argan oil in it. And then, I mean, the other ones are pretty standard. But this, um, I wanted to use this for a day eye cream instead of doing it both at night and during the day so I think this will be really good to go under makeup and like I said this is a really good size for an eye cream so this is usually what a full size eye cream is so I don't know if this is a full size or not um, but yeah that's pretty exciting 
And then the next thing is a Bella Pierre Cosmetics um, Loose Eyeshadow in Excite. And there's the packaging. It's just in a clear thing. I feel like they changed the packaging. And I just checked, I actually already have this in the same exact color in different packaging. They have different caps on them. But I got this in a boxy charm, so I haven't even opened this one yet that I got like a month or two ago. So I don't know what I'm going to do with these. It's just like a shimmery white color. And I probably won't use this because, again, I don't really like single eyeshadows. Plus, this is a loose powder and I'm not really too into those either so I'll probably include one of these in a giveaway and just give the other to someone else I don't know but yeah there's that and then the next thing is a Malin and Goats Mojito Lip Balm and I have heard of this and heard that it was pretty good so I will try that you can never have enough lip balms so there we go. It's 0.2 ounces. That's pretty standard size for a lip balm. So I will try that. And then the last thing is a brush. All, out, all over shadow brush by Elizabeth Mott. And I actually do really like the brand Elizabeth Mott. Um, all of my products that I've gotten from this brand I have gotten from Ipsy. And I have loved every single one of them. Like I've never been disappointed by one of their products. So this is a really nice brand. And it is kind of pricey. So I'm glad that I get to try the products through Ipsy. And this is a pretty nice brush, actually. It's got really nice packaging on it. It feels really sturdy, and it's cute, and it's pink, and this actually feels really nice. So, And I like how it has the white and the pink. That's really cute. So I'm excited to try this. So overall, I think that both of the boxes weren't so great this month from Ipsy. I did really like the eye cream, the shadow brush, and the lip balm, but the other two products I'm probably not going to use at all, and the bag is alright too. And then Birchbox, I will use the mask and the hairspray, but I'm not really that excited to try them. I mean, I am excited about the mask actually, but the hairspray is just okay and then the lip product is nice and I like that there's it's I like that it's a matte product so it'll be nice to try to review but the color I have so many colors like this I wish that it was more of a unique color or a neutral color so overall both of the boxes were just not so great this month, but if I had to choose, I would probably choose Ipsy. Um, Ipsy, for the past couple of months, um, besides last month, hasn't been that great. I did like last month's, though, because I got a Tarte uh, mascara sample, but it's been alright. Birchbox has been better, except for this month. This month kind of went down, so I guess we'll see what happens in the future. Um, Birchbox I will be keeping because I already have a year of a subscription. I paid $99 to get uh, a whole year of Birchbox. Plus, I love the point system with Birchbox, so I'm definitely going to keep it. Ipsy um, has been kind of on the fence lately, but I am getting my BoxyCharm soon, and I'm really, really excited for that because I saw a sneak peek, so I will unbox that for you guys. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below and tell me what you got in your Birchbox or Ipsy if you get those. Or also you can leave suggestions for other boxes that I can try. And yeah, if you liked this video, please subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye guys.